On this profile pack for the Loud is More Good amp, we've profiled it in several different ways. I'm really boring and really only like one of the models because that's how I am, but there's a bunch of stuff for you. One is JHS Blues Breaker 1. So that is the Loud is More Good amp with a vintage black box blues breaker, the pedal that I based the Morning Glory off of. That's what this sounds like. <laughs> Just a little bit of spunk, but it's basically clean. Nice sound, I would use that. And then we have Blues Breaker 2. So the Blues Breaker is a little dirtier. I might use that as well. Maybe I don't know what I want. Then we, same concept, we end up at Klon 2. You guessed it, a Klon, a real one. It's actually over here on the shelf. So that's part of the joy of this, was being able to take these amps and actual vintage rare pedals that I like and profile it. Neck pickup. I might use that too. Then we have Klon 0022. It's dirtier. That's how I use a clon, more dirty. Then we get into just the amps, like the amp by itself. And there are essentially four levels. One, two, three, four. As the number goes up, there's more gain. So here's loud is more good one. Here is loud is more good two. A Little bit dirtier. And we're just gonna keep climbing the mountain of dirt. And four, that's cranked. I like two, that's kind of what I use. And that's how I demonstrate the amp in the past on the show and how I like the sound of a Fender amp. Specifically this one that's kind of Princeton-y. Let's do a jam. Let's go through the different sounds that were captured using the Blues Deluxe. So number one is Blues Deluxe 1. This is just the cleanest form. When I was designing pedals originally starting JHS and using this amp, I would have always had it next to my bench sounding just like this. And listen to this. It's exactly how I set the reverb on the real amp and it sounds identical to the Fender Reverb in the Blues Deluxe, which I don't think is very coveted. Uh, mode two, I'll turn the verb off. Look, let's turn it on and off, look at that. Just look at this, it's amazing. A Little bit dirtier. Three, you guessed it. Bridge pickup. Mmm, I like that. I actually never use the amp that way, but that's cool. I probably have in a studio. That's crunch town. I've never used that amp in that way, but when profiling it, you just turn it all the way up and do that. Um, and you have the bright channel. You have more. Bright one, bright two. You have bright three. And you have bright four. Okay, now we're done. That's that's eight sounds. Eight sounds in one pack. My favorite channel is the bright channel, so I'm gonna play bright two, because I like a little bit of gain, but a lot of clean.
Here are the profiles on this. So you have the bass input and then you have the normal input. So I never play guitar through the bass inputs, but lots of people do. And it has a different characteristic just because it is bassier. It allows more bass through, but let's go through those first. So the very first thing is you have like Josh's 63 bass one. So that's stage one, the cleanest sound in the bass channel. Let's move through those to two little bit dirtier. This is riveting entertainment. That's a great sound. And just so you know, to get this sound out of that amp, no, it's loud. It's, it's, how loud is it, Nick? So loud. That out of this amp? Yeah, moving on to the normal channels here, I would call them, where it just says B-Man 1. That's where I would play it. So like I've already said, I use this amp in the very first season of the show. I would always keep it kind of clean because I just couldn't turn it up loud enough. But here's two. That's so good. It's just another flavor of this Fender clean thing that I love. And that's why these are here because this pack is my favorites pack. So it's going to be a lot of things I like, and I'm really boring. So it's like the same flavors of these wonderful, this wonderful sound that I like. And then you have three is nice. I'm going to use three on the jam because it's something you never really get to do with this amp. Like I said, it would literally kill Nick. And we need Nick. Four. Let's put some verb on. So let's go back to the three and jam on it. This amp is crazy because there's just so many sounds. And there's this is the most profiles maybe in the whole pack. It's crazy. I don't know. I don't even know because I like I'm boring. This has a ton of profiles. So let's go through them. We have the TBK1. That's gonna be clean. You you you're understanding this. You're following me. One is less dirty than three. It's like a numerical rise of gain. Two. Then you have TBK2 with an asterisk. No, it's a plus, so that's a clon. Clon in front of it. One of those, one of those centaurs. There's just a ton of stuff. Let me just keep going here. I'll show you like, let me show you a jumper. So there's this thing when you have the two channels, you can jump into it. People do this with Marshalls and Voxes. And you get like the best of the normal and the top boost thing. And you blend it. So many presets here and then you have n2 what is n I normal can't... normal see there's a normal then there's normal plus the okay again there's too many things i'm going to use tbk3 in this amp there's a cool thing with these J jmi amps you could install this top boost channel that wasn't there from the factory so this has that modification so you're hearing that modded top boost thing <laughs> on the Brilliant channel. And that's like, it's that crispy Vox, loud enough that it would hurt you, but just perfect. And then when you add, what happens, Addison, when you add this? You turn into the edge, baby. 
Yeah. I'll I'll hit a morning glory at one point maybe. go through the packs in this 800 there's a lot there's a lot of sounds in this pack a lot it basically starts off here jcm 800 high one so that's the high input and it's a clean sound um i don't want to be judgmental but if you have an 800 and you're playing it clean let's go on to two a little bit of dirt uh, again, numbers up, more gain. You're learning. We're learning together. This is with a tube screamer. Not just any tube screamer, but a vintage 808 tube screamer. Isn't that cool, Nick? That's crazy. Then we have high three. That's the, that's the classic just the amp sound. You want to play some Rage Against the Machine. You want to play some Oasis. You want to play AC. I, you play anything. You can play anything with this. You can play country because now country uses chasing 800s. Then you have high with the uh, high three with the tube screamer. I'm going to use this. So the classic thing is you put the tube screamer on lower gain. It has a mid push to it and you just boost the front of that Marshall 800. That's so nice. But yeah, there's just tons of sounds. I'm not gonna do the low. I mean, like here's one of them, just to amuse you. It actually is a cool sound. If you plug a telly into this and turn it way up, the cleanish 800 thing is really unique. But yeah, let's go back and let's play high three with a tube screamer. Is full. It's just a good time. Isn't this pack a good time, guys? Such a yeah. good time. This pack's amazing. Woo! It's right? Awesome. Yeah. So again, MIG 51. MIG 51. Because there's not a Sobtech MIG 51 that we know of. Clean as a baby's whistle. Let's go to two. It's weird. Two's more gainy than one, Addison. Who'd have thought? Then we have two plus. And as you've already learned, plus is a clon. It's got that girthy, chewy mid-range. It's the $500,000 clon. It is. This is with a tube screamer. You can go between a vintage tube screamer or a vintage clon. Then we have MiG-53, which is more gain than what? Two. <laughs> Man, we're really, we're crushing this. <laughs> Three plus is with the clon. Here's the thing. There's a lot of sounds. I'm going to skip ahead. That's nice. That's with the clon. But again, 
this amp, it's all about, for me, when I personally use it, it's a clean platform for pedals, just like a lot of these other amps that you're seeing in the pack. It's all about how can I put my pedals and play through this amazing clean tone and have variations of that clean tone. So one of the coolest things in this pack is we took my big 50 that got me addicted to the Sobtech amps, the one I played for so long, and my exact settings, we took a Morning Glory and the exact settings that I use it in, and this is that profile. And then if you add the spring reverb, I'm not gonna use any pedals. This is literally the basic perfect sound that I've used for years and years on everything. Just a broken up MiG-50. Different variations of the reverb level, but let's jam on it. This is channel one, one, so the first input and uh, number one. Because it's my clean tone. So if we go to two, again, we're just climbing the gain. It's a little bit dirtier. And then when you go here, you have the clon. Just more so. Like here's a tube screamer. So it has more mids in there. Here's gain three. There's just more tube screamers, gain three plus the clon. Then there's stage four gain with a tube screamer. Then you got channel one and all this stuff. You got channel one, channel two. I'm gonna go back and play the, just channel one gain of four. It's such a sloppy, wonderful sound. Addison, where did you come from? Uh, I've been here the whole time. That's cool. One other thing real quick is the reverb on the 1484, the Sears amp, the silver tone, whatever we want to call it. It's really strange. It's not like your typical Fender Spring reverb tank. It has like this piezo device that is how the reverb tank works. I don't fully understand it, nor do I care, but it sounds really, really weird. It sounds like a spring reverb that's in a chamber. It's weird. And there's this cool thing that happens. Let me turn it on. With the Kemper, the time knob, it, it feels like it turns into this hall thing eventually, depending on where you have the mix and the time. And it kind of does it. It kind of, in this weird, way like it's not quite springish it just it's like too big for a spring that's all i just want to show you i'm going to use that sound as well because it's in here and um i'm going to use it because it's in here it's it it's in that's awesome it's in here
this amp is real simple. So we left the profiles simple. There's three. There's only three. There's Skywalker one. Get it? Skylark? <laughs> Skywalker? <laughs> Skywalker one and two. Can you guess which one has more gain? It's the two. You're correct. That's one. Also, I'm in the Lord's tuning, drop D. It's such a good sound, like these small, janky Gibson amps from back in the day. And then the third setting, because we're all simple people. You just add a tube screamer to that. Let's go back to two. Now, there are, again, there's effects in here. Like you've heard me use reverb. Did you know there's delay? There is, I just don't care. But let me show you. But I make pedals, so why would I use effects in this box thing? No. And there's also modulation. Again, I just I just want to say again, there's some of you who like options. I don't like options. But this has the options. Okay? I'm going to use pedals. Let's do this. Where's Nick? Come on in, Nick. Nick. Are you Nick? Always... Come on! I... Come on! Nikki. Yes, Nick! Yes! Nikki! Yes, Nick! I'm gonna treat you. Yes, Nick! Come this on! Is abuse. Come on, Nick! Come on! You said. Nick! Nick! Here, Vienna sauce. You want some Vienna? Nick, 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 do you Nick, want Nick. some Vienna? In Sit my down. Two weeks. I hate it here. That's not true. 